Pat's two cents. I want to share this with you. This is what I love about our YouTube family. We are there for each other. Now you have got to hear this testimony. This is about a lady dying, seeing the face of Jesus and reaching out. I'm going to read what was said. Now listen to this. And this I dedicate to the P family and to Grandma P's granddaughter. All right, here we go. Now I want you to hear, as I read, I want to make sure I read it correctly. This is from one of our viewers. I didn't get her permission to use her name, so I will call her Sister T. Please tell her this. I know my beautiful dear Nana, who loved Jesus, would want me to. I was with my Nana while she was passing. She saw Jesus. Her eyes opened wide and she said, Jesus, in wonder. Then she put out her palms and said, Kingdom come. How beautiful is that? Please tell her this, sis. Oh, yeah. I want all you guys to hear it because I just got to recording a video right before this that I'm going to upload right before this one. And in that video, I mentioned that because of what has gone by between Sunday and tonight, I really believe that we're entering into one of those seasons of multiple deaths where we start hearing about this one, that one, and the other one passing away. There are seasons, and sometimes deaths come in seasons where you hear a lot of it in a small time, like a month or a two-month period. So prepare. Prepare prayerfully, emotionally. Get your head wrapped around it, and don't be surprised because there are times when it is someone's time. Their number's up. It's time for them to go and be with their father in heaven. So don't begrudge them that glory. If you really believe, don't begrudge them. I know you'll miss them just like I missed my husband. You will shed tears just like I shed tears. But guess what? I knew where my husband was. And God even allowed my husband to appear before me while I was sitting in the car with a big old beaming, beaming grin on his face. And I mean, he was grinning like, can't you see how happy I am? Look, look, I'm here, I made it. Yeah, I needed to know that. When you take care of somebody for so long, you kind of need that. But God is faithful. You have no need to fear. Neither does the one who's passing away. So God bless you. I hope this encourages you. P family, granddaughter P, I hope this blesses your socks off. I hope it really gives you peace. And I'll be praying with you in the morning when you call me. God bless you guys. Thank you for hearing me. And let this testimony sit with you as you're sitting with your loved one on their deathbed.